What's up, everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net, and I got another gorgeous Lincoln Town car to bring you this week, folks. A beautiful one-owner, 2003 Lincoln Town Car Cartier Edition. It's a very nice Cartier. I'm going to try to get used to saying that because in my last video of the 2001 Cartier L, I got roasted in the comments for not saying Cartier or Cartier, right, which I know I mispronounced, but it's just how I've always said it. It is what it is. You're going to have to get over it. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep saying it that way. But this is a beautiful one-owner example I bought from a, an estate out in New York, a uh, very, very wealthy uh, part of the Long Island. The house is right next to Long Island Sound. Beautiful house. This car was sitting in a garage right next to a Mercedes that I also bought, two at the same time. It's a one owner, 48,000 mile car, very well serviced, all serviced through my shop here as well. Excited to bring it to you. It's a gorgeous car. Let's take a look. And here she is, a beautiful one owner, 2003. This would be the last year that the Cartier uh, trim package was offered. They ran this from the 70s all the way up until 2003. 2003 was the last year that uh, Lincoln used that trim. In 2004, they changed the essential top-trimmed Cartier to the Ultimate, and they used that from 2004 to 2005, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then they just played Word Jumble for the next few years with different trim packages. Instead of keeping it the Executive, the Signature, and then the Cartier, uh, they really just wanted to I don't know, jumble things up for people. Anyways, it's a beautiful one-owner car. I had about 47,000 miles when I purchased it. Uh, I have rolled it over to 48,000 miles, just doing my thorough test drives and stuff like that. And this car has been an absolute dream to have here and to own. I was very fortunate to get a call through YouTube from an estate company who was settling an estate down in... I'm not even going to pronounce the name of the town because I always butcher it. Mama, M Mama R Ronek, Ma Mama, Mama something Ronek, <laughs> New York. I guess we'll go back to the whole Cartier thing and Cartier and me not being able to pronounce things. Even the lady who was settling the estate who lived in the area says she has a hard time <laughs> with it as well. Uh, but this is a beautiful one owner car and... I was called down to come down and take a look at this car. They said, hey, we got a car. We're not sure if you buy old Lincolns. And when I get a call like that, I said, well, you know, what do you mean by old Lincolns? And by old, it meant 2003, which to me is still like a late model Lincoln because to me, an old Lincoln is like a 60s Lincoln or a 70s Lincoln. Anyways, got a call, went down there, took a look at it. This was sitting next to a Mercedes C-Class, which I was able to rehome to a very good friend of mine who needed a car. Um, so that one is already gone. This is the, this was the stable mate, but this was obviously the car that I was really interested in. Uh, and this is what the, the car that they called me on. It just, uh, it was easier for them to sell both and it was easier for me to buy both. Uh, so I bought both cars. This car came up here. Um, it was really well serviced. The Carfax on this car is a mile long with service. I think this car at 48,000 miles has something like 32 or 39 service records on Carfax, which is pretty extensive for a car with such little miles. I mean, there was oil change intervals within hundreds of miles. The car was over service, which is not a bad thing. Um, you know, oil changes, coolant flushes, really well done preventative maintenance. When I got the car here, um, you know, I, I really didn't have to do anything to it, but I kind of felt obligated to do stuff to it. Uh, one of those things was the tires. And I don't know what came over me. But this car had black wall tires on it. A really nice set of Michelin black walls. But they were slightly older. I think they were from like 2016 or 2017. And they rode nice. I just There was a brief moment in my thinking that said, well, geez, you know, white, uh, you know, Michelins. I shouldn't take them off. But 
I put these white walls on and the car just stands so tall. Um, so I did the tires, didn't have to do the tires. When I did the tires, we did an alignment. Um, at the same time as doing that, we also did four wheel brakes. Again, the brakes weren't bad. Uh, the rears were kind of, they had a little bit of rust. So they had a very minor pulsation. I just did all four brakes, um, you know, all that stuff that I normally do with these cars went through it. Uh, I'd like to show you some imperfections on this car as I go around it. I know I'm kind of hovering over it, but there's really not a lot to talk about when it comes to imperfections. As you can see, like the bumper corners are absolutely beautiful. It does have the factory fog lights. 2003 would have been the first year that Lincoln offered the fog lights uh, with these cars. And I think it's just such a beautiful look. Gives it a nice stance. Uh, really, I do love it. Uh, one flaw that I will point out is some of these little marks here. You can see like almost little pit marks. I mean, it's smooth, but there's these little black kind of freckles uh, on the top of the chrome. This car was garage its entire life. Um, I have pictures of the car in the garage. And you can see how clear the headlights are. And again, the bumper shows no imperfections, no chips or corner dings. We'll show you that side in just a minute. You come up over the hood. It's absolutely beautiful. It does have a very nice painted stripe that goes down both sides and is totally consistent. Uh, I don't believe this car has had any paint work on you know, the panels here, the, the side panels. Uh, these, this is actually kind of nice how they did this, um, you know, cut it in there. I've never seen something done quite like that. It does have, and it's very, very, very minor, but you can see it right there. Just a little itty bitty scratch, right? And I wouldn't even call it a scratch, a little scuff. Uh, wheels are in beautiful shape, real nice chrome in the pockets. You can see how beautiful those are. You can see how dirty my shoes are. Brand new set of Travel Star 225 60 17 inch white walls, uh, original car light windshield. In 2003 was the only year that they offered the Rain Sense wipers. Um, it has the factory power sunroof, which is real nice. It's a kind of an uncommon feature you don't really see in these. You come down here, you see the beautiful piano black trim. Uh, driver's door, real nice. I mean, there's no, there's a little HB chip right there. I mean, there's really nothing even on the, the door edge here. Um, let's take a look at the mirrors. Very, very minor, minor, minor scuff that probably would buff out if I noticed it before. Um, no dings really. This car is in real nice shape. The door edges, super clean. Cartier. All the weather stripping is very, very nice all the way up and around. Rear glass, come down the quarter. Super, super clean all the way around. And again, it's a beautiful, like it's like a brown color pinstripe. Come around the back here, back bumper. Again, no scuffs or dings or old lady divots. You can see how nice and crystal clear and shiny the taillights are. Chrome around here is nice. A little bit of stress cracking on this corner. Looks like a little bit right there. A little bit on this side as well. All the emblems are present. Even this, I've never seen this before. You can see this has kind of got like a gloss to it. I think that's just how well this car was protected from being outside. Because usually you see this is a little faded. Absolutely beautiful on this car. This car is a beautiful, beautiful shape. Let's spin it around and take a look at the passenger side now. It obviously the passenger side is just as beautiful and just as classy looking as the driver's side really just a beautiful car throughout uh apparently i got a little bit of water on the bumper there that's from me uh, but you can see here like i said a little bit of a little bit of stress cracking in this uh chrome bezel unfortunately common on these cars um very nice glossy paint that beautiful brown Stripe running down the side. Give you a wide angle, a wide shot there, right underneath that 
iconic Cadillac sign. Absolutely gorgeous. The white walls really just popped on this car. This car came with white walls. It was actually the only line item option on this car. Otherwise, everything else was standard. The sunroof, uh, the chrome wheels, the fog lights, all that stuff is standard. And when I got this car with black walls, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what came over me. Look at that beautiful, just, ah, it's just gorgeous. Waterfall grill, stand-up hood ornament. You know, the chrome in the headlights, the chrome on the bumpers, and not having any puck marks or chips or anything like that. Beautiful chrome wheels. Like I said, those white walls just really make this car pop. Um, and that was an option. Not all these cars were standard with white walls. Even though I like to put them on the cars, um, it was not standard equipment. Uh, you could get black wall Michelins or white walls. Uh, it was $125 for white walls, which obviously I would have went with. Uh, even the license plate bracket is in really nice shape. Usually these are all beat up and split up. Uh, this one shows really well. Come up over the hood here, real clean. Again, pinstripe. Uh, it does have a few little minor marks. Um, uh, I don't know, it's like from here to here. Something may have brushed up against the car in the garage. It's very, very light, very, very minor. Perhaps a wet sand and polish um, would take that out. Let's go over here, I'll show you the glass on this side. Mira, my little scuff right there. Factory sunroof, roof is beautiful. Again, all the side glass. This piano black trim. I didn't want to cover it up with chrome. You know, I, I actually bought a chrome kit for this car, the wheel wells, the rockers. Once I put the white walls on, it's just the car popped so much that I said, you know what, it's not needed. Uh, a couple little scratches in the uh, painted stripe. And then you can see a little guy right there on the uh, little chip on the door handle. A couple little minor chips down there. Uh, looks like another one right there, right there. Another little minor chip right there. Another one right there. The door edge is really nice. Cartier. Another beautiful travel star, 225, 60, 17. Correct size white wall. And down the corner here, there is a little minor, little guy right there. Corners of the bumpers are nice. I mean, it's just not, not beat up, really. Uh, tail lights, very, very clean. Back glass, beautiful. Really, really nice car all the way around. I'm super excited to have this one here. Let's take a dive into the inside of this car where I think you're gonna be really impressed with the condition, just like the outside. All right, let's take a look inside this beautiful town car. I'm gonna open it up here and show you this beautiful, um, like an ivory colored leather interior. Uh, super, super clean, non-smokers car. Uh, and a one owner, elderly couple who owned this car. So you can you can tell it was gently used, gently driven, and very, very well cared for. Uh, how did I miss this dirt in the door jam? Apologize for that. Uh, you can see here on the door tag, uh, this car was built four of 2003. So this wouldn't be considered one of the early 2003s. It had the uh, troublesome... Uh, rear axles, um, unlike the 2003 Cartier L um, that I have. Uh, that was an early car built, I think, in March of 2002. Uh, all the wood trimming is in really nice shape. Door jams are clean. A little bit of minor wear on this door pull strap. Um, aside from that, all the cubby pockets flip open nice and clean there. All the buttons work. The uh, 
fuel door release, the trunk release. Uh, it does show a few little minor spots of corrosion on this Lincoln sill plate. Uh, I think that might be the only one that shows the corrosion. Carpet is in really nice shape, all original, no you know, abrasive stains or marks or anything like that. Leather shows really, really nice on this car, nice and soft and supple. Again, this car was garage its entire life, um, so it wasn't put out into the harsh elements. It has the Cartier <laughs> insignia on the back here, but yeah, just a real, real nice driver's seat. Uh, center console, we'll show you that. When we get into the car, excuse me, um, the driver's, <laughs> driver's side steering wheel, the only steering wheel, is in beautiful shape. The leather wrapping, uh, wood on the top, and even all the buttons are super clean. You can see how nice it is when you can see the grain still in the leather. It's not worn and all smoothed out. Uh, it really shows very, very nicely. And then up on the headliner there, you can see how clean that is. It does have the factory sunroof as well. Back door here. Inside the jam, nice and clean as well. No rust or anything like that on the bottom of the doors. Sill plate over here is in real nice shape. Jams are nice and clean. Rear headlining is perfect. That is not a vanity mirror like the L's have. That is actually the uh, cover for the sunroof motor access. 03 was the only year for the rear parking assist with the LED strip in that third brake light, which I think is really cool. Um, beautiful leather back here as well. Super, super soft, nice uh, and plush and, and just real smooth leather. Oop. Center armrest falls down. You have a cup holder in the center there. And the carpeting, look how nice the carpeting is in this car. Absolutely beautiful throughout. Seat back pockets are in real nice shape. This door panel shows really, really well. The wood is in nice shape. The door pull strap is beautiful. And, uh, a little door pocket there. There is one imperfection here on the door panel. Looks like something caught it. You can see there and kind of just curled it up a little bit. I mean, you can kind of try and work it back, but probably something that they put on the floor at some point and they closed the door and it got caught there. Maybe an interior guy. It really, it's the back door panel. I don't think it would bother somebody that much. That's why I really didn't do anything with it. All right, now let's take a look at the passenger side. All right, let's take a look over on this side here. Show you how clean this car is. On the passenger side, again, inside all the door jams, super, super clean. The Lincoln sill plate shows beautifully. All up in the jam here. Door panel is absolutely beautiful. Pull straps, super, super clean. Absolutely clean throughout. And you can tell that this car just didn't really have backseat passengers because... There's no scuff marks on the sills. There's no marks on the backs of the seats. The rear pockets aren't all stretched out. Even the back leather, look how clean that back leather is. Cartier script up in the back here. Beautiful, beautiful leather, nice and soft. Carpeting is absolutely perfect. Inside that jam, just how we like to see it. Very, very minor corrosion on this Lincoln uh, aluminum sill plate here. Nothing too crazy. And again, that beautiful leather. Nice and soft, very pliable. Uh, center armrest is really nice. You can actually see you can see the grain there it is <laughs> there it is would you look at that you can see and feel the grain and i just love that feeling because it just it makes it feel so nice and clean it's got the dual flip open armrest center cup holders there uh 
dashboard and that beautiful wood wrap steering wheel. Come across here, all the wood tone on the dash. Plastic wood trunk tone, but very, very clean. No coffee stains or anything like that going on there. Common spot to see that. Carpeting, again, real, real nice. Um, you know, just a real nicely preserved car. Door panel and all the pockets flip open, switch plates. This pull strap is absolutely perfect as well. Dual power seats, heated seats, carpeting shows perfectly. All the seats and functions work. This is just a real nice car. Let's jump behind the driver's seat. I'm going to show you some of the features and stuff this car came with. All right, we're behind the wheel of the 2003 Cartier. I want to show you what I have for a key situation going on here. I do have both original uh, factory Lincoln keys and the valet key. I do have two remotes as well. One shows some wear on the buttons. These are Ford uh, uh, sponsored or Ford. They're not factory Ford remote start systems, but essentially Motorola made these for Ford. I'll show you the manual that I have in there. The lock, the unlock, the panic, and the trunk. But then the blue one here is also a remote starter, which I'll show you how that works in just a minute. But we're going to start it up. Show you it's got 48,290 miles. Do a light check. Backlighting. I'm probably not going to get good radio reception in there. Yeah, it's got some. Um, climate control works perfectly. Center, ah, uh, let's turn this light on. The center cup holder or console here, absolutely perfect. Non-smokers car, like I said. You can see a very minor impression on the dash there. Uh, when I got this car, it had a mount that came out here with a Motorola cell phone and it wasn't factory installed but it was like an aftermarket base to a charging station probably from 2003 era so um I elect I elected to just take that out I mean it was kind of in the way but it did leave a little bit of an impression there really uh nothing too crazy sunroof have it in the vent position does open fully actually automatic None of them ever close automatically, though. All right, let's take a look. Under the hood. Super, super clean under here. Uh, very, very nice, actually. Um, especially for a New York car. Uh, you can see all the nuts and bolts are in real nice shape. Um, the fasteners, they usually show a little bit of rust. Just very minor stuff starting on, like, the strut, the strut mount there, but very very clean for a new york car even under the hood has the uh under hood light that was done away in a few more years with the town car uh, that didn't last for long uh battery i believe there's an interstate i thought there was a date on here apparently not i'm pretty sure there was a date you know what maybe when i cleaned it the sticker came off I could have sworn it said 2021. All the plastics are in real nice shape. The engine block shows really nice. Uh, she starts up and runs absolutely beautifully. Like I showed you, it does have all the keys and the remotes here. I'm going to show you how that remote start system works in just a minute. I have all the books as well. CD-ROM. Um, this is for the motor roller digital wireless telephone. That was probably the phone system that I took out. I do not believe this is factory. No. So that is irrelevant at this point. It didn't have the phone. It was just the, the base part. And this is the Motorola. They just went all out with Motorola. Uh, Ford Motor Company for vehicle security and remote start. But it's basically a Motorola system that Ford uh, issued as like a dealer install option. But all the books, the key code, for the uh, keyless entry. This was a Wixom built car. 
Uh, cool thing with this car is you can see the actual birth date of this car. Someone pointed that out to me, a friend of mine. Uh, my buddy Nick showed me that that's when the actual date of birth was, 321 of 2003. Sold new it or sold to White Plains Lincoln Mercury, which is where this car was purchased from. 2003 premium Cartier, Cartier. Uh, exterior is ivory parchment, clear coat, tri coat, interior medium dark parchment over light parchment. $47,815. And like I said, the only line item there was the 225, 60, 17 all season white sidewall tires at 125 destination. Uh, premium package discount, which I believe might be something like that signature premium with the uh, included power sunroof, uh, because I don't know if that was standard or not. Uh, but it shows it right here under interior at no extra charge, $48,000 originally. So on this remote, you can see the lock and unlock, lock, unlock. Don't know what that's supposed to do. And then we'll unlock it again, and we're gonna push this. Lights flash, horn beeps. And there she is, starts right up. Uh, that's with the blue button here, if I can get this to focus. Also shuts the car off, which is kind of neat. The best thing about this system is you don't lose the power opening and closing rear trunk. We're gonna push and hold the unlock button and the trunk raises. We're gonna push and hold the unlock button and then the trunk closes. Power pull down works as intended. Show you what's in the trunk while we're back here. Uh, I have all four original floor mats, the two rears up there, front ones. Real nice shape, very, very minor soiling, nothing too crazy. Uh, a little fraying of some of the, the fabric there, but it does have the Cartier insignia uh, there. It also has the really cool and kind of sought after uh, trunk cargo organizer. So this usually has a very, very deep trunk. Um, but Lincoln offered these cargo organizers or trunk organizers. You can see here it essentially brought up the level of the floor uh, to a, a really easy, acceptable level. And then you have a nice little trunk organizer. Now this pulls right out. I mean, it's just literally sitting in there. So if you don't want to use it, you have, you're going on a trip and you need that extra space, you can pull this out. It's very manageable. It's basically a plastic tub. You have your quarter mounted spare. And then in the side pocket over there, you have your um, CD changer. Although it does have an in-dash CD player. All right, here is the bottom of the 2003 Lincoln Town Car Cartier. Uh, I just finished doing a transmission service. That's why you can see there's a giant mess on the floor over there. Uh, but this is a one owner New York car uh, owned in Mamarant, Mamarant, I still can't even pronounce the name of this damn town. Mamma Mamanoric. <laughs> so there she is folks, 2003 Lincoln Town Car Cartier Premium Edition. Uh, one owner, 48,000 mile car. And like I said, brand new tires, white walls, just installed, just did a, a factory four wheel alignment, uh, four wheel pads, rotors all the way around. Uh, we did upper control arms like most of these town cars get. It's got a fresh oil change. Uh, it does have a replacement rear parking assist module, common occurrence for those to burn out. This one's brand new. So everything works in this car. Factory remote start system or dealer installed factory remote start, I should say. A beautiful, beautiful car. Give me a call if you have any questions. My name is Anthony, 978-930-1004. Price of this car is gonna be $17,995. If you have any questions, give me a call. My name is Anthony, 978-930-1004. Check me out on Instagram, Specialty Motor Cars NH. I always post like sneak peeks and stuff as stuff comes in. They are on my Facebook page. Located here in Pelham, New Hampshire, right on the Massachusetts border, but don't let distance stop you from getting a dream car like this. In your driveway, I can arrange shipping. Last week, you saw that beautiful 2001 Lincoln Town Car Cartier L. That's heading off to Texas, Temple, Texas. Thank you to my buyer uh, down there. Now this one's up next, looking for its, its new forever home. It's gonna be the second owner. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love this car. Again, thanks everybody for watching. Check out that merch store, specialtymotorcars.net. Get all my... Uh, sweatshirts, t-shirts, cups, mugs, you name it. 
Papa Bear Anthony exclusive. We even have a Christmas. And we just added some new T-shirts with Lincoln and Cadillac insignias. I think you're really going to like them. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.